Oh, welcome to the 1878 FM podcast. It's a full house. Big D is back. He pulled the bush on us last week, mm. but he is back in the starting lineup this week. Dave, how well, are you? I'm good, thank you. And can I just apologise for my bushcraft last <laughs> week? It was actually unfortunate timing, wasn't it? Because I'd mm. not been available to do it for reasons that I can't discuss, sadly. That's fine. Classified, mm. but work-related. And yeah. then shortly afterwards, Mr. Bush officially divorced us, didn't he? <laughs> he did. I mean, he, he, he left. He he left the WhatsApp group, which, mm. as we all know, is a real statement of intent or, or, or not as it is. So that mm. was a big, big blow. But yeah, I was concerned that you thought that I might have been following some kind of pattern, but well, it's uh, very much not the case. So it's nice. No, to some of the comments did think you were that this was the beginning of the road because this is what um, Bush used to do. Mm. But I promise I, you, I, no. Yeah. I said, I, you, I think, you know, you're I think, always I think, available. I think, I think Bush and I are different people. I know? think so. I mm. think so, Dave. Clearly you are, because we were all on the podcast, and without without you using smoke and mirrors, there was definitely a different person than you in the mm. window. Mm. And, of course, we've now got a different person in the window, who is mm. Sam, who's been with us for a while, but is about to move his money out of Barclays. Mm. Uh, Sam, how the hell are you? Well, it's a pleasure once again to turn off my boyhood YouTube channel. As I <laughs> yeah, said to you on Twitter, Baz, you did. When you hit the hit the ninety k, which you is a, a great cause for celebration. And That's I also great. felt like when when Bush did leave the WhatsApp group, I felt like it was when when Robbie left. Take that. It just yeah. felt <laughs> felt like that, didn't it? Yeah, hmm. you know. Yes, the rumors are true. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pinpoint the exact moment he left out. He, he announced he was leaving, mm. and then he stuck around for a little bit. Yeah, and then, uh, and then, and then I'm just you know, you know, it says the. I'm trying to find the bushes left. Yeah, no, we, but well, I can't see. No, no, act- because for years I used to joke about WhatsApp should have a setting where you can leave a WhatsApp group quietly without yeah. everyone knowing. Yeah, and I think you can now. I think you can just slide uh, out the back door. Whereas it might- used to be like. Bye. It did present mm-hmm. it as Andy Bush has left. It did, I didn't but see now that. it's gone. Yeah, it, ah. did. it did. It did. Why? Well, I mean, what? I mean, we're we're in another. We're in like our work group, and we've still got someone in that group from years and years ago. Yeah. And we've actually said to him, "No issue if you want to leave mm. our group." Nope. And he's like, "No, I've just put it on mute." There might be a time uh, uh, now and again. I yeah. like looking. Do you ever in. think that he's because where he's gone, he he might be sort of like keeping an eye on it. Yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know that when you go to that yeah, establishment, that place, that place that becomes yeah everyone. So he's keeping an eye on it. So essentially, we should kick him out the group. So Bush has, but what Bush is essentially saying then, lads, you have no value to me whatsoever yeah. in my in as I build my entertainment. Um, well, because he's Emporium, because he took most of our ideas and, <laughs> and repackaged them for he, him he, and Richie. He, he did. Do you know, in in hindsight, I think you're right. I think mm-hmm. that actually, if Bush thought about this again, I think that he should have just gone for the mute always yeah, option I think so. rather than the mm. the the WhatsApp divorce, which mm, yeah. is very final and it's very difficult to come back from. Well, it almost is. impossible, I would say. <laughs> it yeah. is. I would exactly, agree. Yeah. I mean, he did he did mm. WhatsApp me later on that night. Did he? Yeah, for the private chat. Yeah. Did he? Anything said? It was because of you, Daddy. No, no. You know what he actually <laughs> said was he's doing the sleep out. Do we want him in the studio? Oh, okay. But I just didn't apply. Couldn't he have said that in a group? Chat? I think so. Mm, I think well, I mean, so. you know, because we had we had the perfect portal for this kind of communication before, <laughs> yeah. because we had a group <laughs> that involved five people. <laughs> it it would have been just, ideal for him to convey that kind of it messaging. Would, absolutely. I mean, how? But how busy is your life that you're like, lads? I've got to leave this. <laughs> What's up? Maybe it's just... getting in the way, lad. It's getting in the way. <laughs> Have you ever thought that he doesn't know how to mute a WhatsApp but group? Also, Maybe that's all it is. With, with all great respect, this isn't like our WhatsApp group is pretty business-like. We'll drop ideas in there. We're not like th- we're not like chatting no, stuff all the time. Group at school, we're not, yeah, yeah. We're not like we're not like looking at. We go, oh no! Have you seen what? Have you seen what she's wearing at number seventeen? Mm. Oh, have you seen how he's parked? Mm. Just maybe that's why he's left on the curb this week. Mm. Oh, maybe he wants more of that. Loads. Maybe mm. he, he's left because he wants more of that just general yeah. neighborhood shit chat. Yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe it wasn't fulfilling him in the way mm. that he needed. Yeah. Maybe, you know? maybe, or maybe, maybe it's me because I, me and him have never met. And as soon as no, I joined the group, he, I, he's on. I he's on don't the think it's you. I think maybe it's us, Sam. And you, you were the reason he stayed. Maybe it's us three. <laughs> That's the reason why he got off. Sam, mm. I, I think he's intimidated by you. You are now a yeah. man who is, you know, the headline act at, uh, you know, fest comedy festivals mm, in mm-hmm, places like mm. Colchester yeah. and 
he's intimidated, him intimidated by that. Mm. Well, I mean, you can't, can't even say it. I can't I mean, even I say think, it. I'm, I'm, I mean, you're, 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 so, you're so angry. Much, you're so emotional he, in this he time. Done, she, listen, yeah. he hasn't done anything since since that Disney cruise. No. And uh, mm. he's clearly struggling. Mm. And, the you know, the talking heads on Channel 5 uh, dream they've moved on. quite hasn't they've worked. They've moved on. Yeah, they've moved past them. Because he stopped being on the podcast. Mm. He was sailing high, literally, mm. with Disney. And he the podcast's off next month and he's doing nothing. He's stuck back with the whoever that fella works with, this, whatever team he supports from London, mm. Chelsea or Arsenal, some shit. Um, Jag Jason Cundy. Yeah, he looks like he is. Jag Jason Cundy. Jason Cundy off Timu, isn't he? <laughs> He's not even the Wish version of Jason Cundy. He's the Timu version of Jason Cundy. So there you go, Bush. I hope you're happy. Bloody Samaritans group set up by Ned. If anyone's missing Bush that much, hey, because Ned knows he doesn't get Bush ever. Um, on to <laughs> Saturday. Obviously, mm. Everton played a game. Or there was a game that was there. I don't know whether these two teams were going, let's try and outshite each other. Because <laughs> it's I mean, it on was, the it was, telly. It was dreadful, wasn't it? Because it it's dreadful. on the telly. Yeah. What an awful game of yeah. Premier League football that was awful. on Saturday night. Dave, what, how bad was it? It was awful. I mean, <laughs> literally, it was just a dreadful, dreadful game with, with very little in the way of redeeming features. The only redeeming feature being, obviously, seeing Gordon, you know, have the penalty saved and obviously mm-hmm. Dakuri jumping in his face and, the, <laughs> you know. Um, but that was about it, really. It was, mm-hmm. There was, you know... Uh, I think I, I possibly expected more from Newcastle, mm. but I just thought they offered very little. I mean, we know that we're shy, but you know, it's mm. it's they were they were just really disappointing. But yeah, as a spectacle, it was a non-event, wasn't it? But as I say, on the plus side, Gordon with the penalty save or had his penalty mm. saved, and obviously picking up another valuable point. So that's the good side of it. Yeah, Sam. Well, full disclosure, I didn't watch the match because I was driving. Lucky to- you. Shrewsbury to do this uh, Oktoberfest mm. gig. So I listened to the first half and then the second half I was on stage and then I came mm. off and I was I was basically just trying to refresh my phone to get the score, <laughs> but I didn't have a signal. So I, it took ages just for the Shrewsbury BBC website. Shrewsbury's bad for signal. I was there yeah. recently. It's a dreadful Terrible. town for phone signal. Mm. Terrible. And, uh, That's a and because I didn't know how the second half had gone, I was just, I was thinking I'll take a draw. And when it came up nil nil, I thought I'll take that without mm. knowing the context mm-hmm. of the match, really. Yeah. But then I think I would have gone back and watched it if it had been... I don't even need it to be like a 5-4. If we'd won 1-0, I probably would have mm. gone back and watched it. But mm. by all accounts, it was absolutely terrible. So I've only watched the highlights. Mm. And obviously the penalty miss was glorious. And someone, mm-hmm. some one of you red mates was going, that's the highlight of your season so far. And I said, well, it might be. And that's... <laughs> I, I, because it's been, it's been a crap season so far. Yeah. And it was, I think... Possibly the loudest penalty miss celebrations, certainly yeah. at Goodison, mm. that I, yeah. just from the TV coverage, mm. people were going bananas mm. because it was great. One, it? it's just mm. the way he took the ball, the way he winked, the way he went, I've got this. Mm. And, he, and then he, the penalty was dreadful, wasn't it? So yeah. that was a, that was a good thing. And getting a point's good. And, you know, again, we're just, we're drifting slightly upwards, aren't we? Mm. Even if not in mm. positional mm. places, we're just, you know, we've got another point on the board. So. That's good. Drifting. Now, drifting. Now, yeah. so yeah. next, we're drifting yeah, somewhere. Next week. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're drifting somewhere, um, that's for sure. I, I am enjoying the penalty shootout fallout. It's been oh, yeah. it, it's it's been tremendous. Somewhat yeah. that I've been part of. You have you you are the chief instigator. I'm not the chief instigator. I can't you help talk, it. You recorded the penalty thing. Yeah, I was then used by Rog for Men in Blazers, their yeah, official thing, fine. which went all over America. Yeah, and obviously, you see, I I'm in two minds with this, right? And I'll cool. just tell you why. I being at the ground was incredible. It was amazing that moment, just mm. because of all the shit out that he mm. was doing before, and um, we all know the way he behaved in the last mm-hmm. six months at Everton, which is why I think Everton did put this out. Yeah. But I also now look and just think, we're hyping this kid up like he's messy and he's left us for someone else. I couldn't care less. I was walking up to the ground and Newcastle fans were queuing all outside mm. and some Everton fans are singing, you've never won for all. Mm. And all their response was, oh, Anthony, yeah. as if he's some trophy. Oh, by the way. I didn't care that he left. No, I didn't. But, but also... Um, and I thought this was I thought this was interesting. 
He tried to walk out on Newcastle in the summer and go to yeah. Liverpool. Yeah, they forget that. Which is yeah, hilarious. Yeah. No, but forget. going back to... The, but no, I don't care. It mm. was him. It was just sweet. Mm. It was because... No, it was sweet. But the fallout and Everton putting the tweet out yesterday is just... just It's just made... It's brilliant. It's just absolutely sent some people off the deep end. One of those people being Jamie Carragher, mm. who has been stalking me on Twitter. I, I didn't, oh, I see, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's been, been, been tweeting me for every tweet I've wrote about it. Really? Tweeting, yeah. yeah. So, like, yesterday, I'm like, you know, I've put a tweet out and I've just left it there and come back and me mentions are just full of Liverpool and Newcastle fans, <laughs> which is fine. Because <laughs> basically, that's my life anyway. Well, they're kindred spirits. Yeah, they're, they're kindred the spirits. So, the Jamie North Gallagher's East come, has gone after me yesterday. Uh, Jay, yeah, he's come after me yesterday. And I'm like, I, all I've said is... It's quite funny, and he's like, "It's disrespectful." I'm like, "Oh, you case? It's footy. It's a laugh." Evan have just put. If people don't know the background to it, Evan have just does a half time thing, isn't it? And if you don't hit the bar, they, they do that. Eh, eh, yeah. You know the old uh, family mm-hmm. fortunes, and they've put mm-hmm. it because someone asked for it, and it's a hilarious tweet that's gone viral. Mm-hmm. Millions of people have watched it because at the end of the day. The fella in goal for us is the fella they hate. Mm. And the mm. fella who took the penalty yeah. is the fella who left us. It's it's perfect. It's absolutely mm. perfect. But it's, 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 but it's pantomime, isn't it? Really? It, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's nothing yeah. more. It's pantomime. It, in mm. every other sport, they'll do this. In On all the TikTok videos, they do this now. Mm. Uh, you know, if you look at some of the English versions of European ones, mm. they're taking the mick out of each other. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. no issue. And yet we've got this, like, uh, some people have got this upper, you know, Stiff lipped kind of attitude. It's like, it's footy. He missed. The thing it. is, you know, he'll get a chance. Hmm? He'll get a chance, and he had a chance in the game later mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. to put mm-hmm. that to bed. Course, he missed yeah. it, and at the end of the season, he'll get a chance to mm-hmm. to, to change the narrative. I'm sure he wants. So he's gonna score. Isn't it's he? just funny. He's gonna score past funny. Everton, and then if he'd have slotted the penalty, what do you think he would have done? Mm-hmm. He would have stood there in front of the Gladys Street, the ears. old yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and that's, the that's yeah. disrespectful. And and mm. we, I, I encourage a little bit of disrespect in football because it makes it more interesting. I mean, Decore, he was disrespectful the way he celebrated that miss. He, he went full Martin went Keown, full. didn't he? He did. He yeah. just stumped yeah. in. Mm-hmm. But Anthony Gordon's mullet is disrespectful. Yeah. And I say that mm. as a man who's, who's in a glass house right now throwing stones, mm. but... Mm. Uh, it's not. I mean, it's like a minor level of disrespect, isn't it? What would have been disrespectful is if Liverpool have missed a penalty against Newcastle, or Newcastle mm. missed a penalty against Stoke, and Everton put that on. That doesn't make sense, but it was against mm. us. It was. Yeah. It happened on Saturday. Our so. goalie saved it. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, ultimately, our goalkeepers. The thing about it was, I mean, Gordon. Well, that's what that, that's the way to look at it positively in mm. terms of it was a celebration of actually Jordan Pickford saving it as opposed to him yeah. missing it. Do you know what and I mean? They were, the thing I, I said to me, Matt's reaction, the thing I don't understand, Newcastle fans, I don't understand it. They're a team, a club, allegedly, mm. that is trying to move to win and trophy. I mean, he looked miles away from it, but, they, you know, spent a lot of money and they, you know, they've come out with big statements that they'll dominate in five years and we're already three years into that. But if you're a club that is on that upward trajectory, why do you spend the most of the game singing about Jordan Pickford when you play? Like, I don't get it. It should be like, you should be building yeah. your team up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Talking well, about your team. or I, And they use the pick, the singing about Pickford or Anthony mm-hmm. Gordon. And it's like, well, if that moment then, because you're singing about those two things, that moment collided with that penalty mm. incident mm. and picked for safety. Well, I think I need the lads' input on this because they did have a dinosaur balloon in their end. Mm. So they'd obviously been to like a... Mm. a oh, they bring a, that? A kid's... Nobody, this is what I want to know. Is they normally bring a dinosaur outfit. Now, I'm they just wondering... inflatable dinosaur. Has, has the dinosaur... Was the dinosaur outfit rented? And have they... Maybe have, a text thing. Have no? they... Um, have they lost that? You know, have they, have they lost, you know, did they take it back? Did they forget to bring it? Have they had to, is the economy meant that they've got to go to a balloon? Possibly. And maybe, it, maybe you know, someone said last time the dinosaur needs a ticket, mate, to mm-hmm. get in. Mm-hmm. One ticket, they one person, in it. No, but they brought the inflatable dinosaurs yeah, and yeah. they, a lot of them, is the there dinosaur this time. now the official mascot emblem because the dinosaur was the last. The creature to see them win a trophy, possibly, <laughs> mm, possibly. maybe, possibly. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah, what yeah. Do you, what are your, what are your thoughts on it, Sam? Well, uh, I, I mean, I think <laughs> well, dressing up at football matches, I, I, I have a real issue with. Whereas mm. cricket, 
I've been the cricket a few times and people dress up as all sorts. And I think mm. it's brilliant. And it's weird because I if I walk through the center of the city center and everyone's dressed up, I just think no beds. That's what I think in my head. No beds. Even though I've been those people. But at the cricket, I remember yeah. seeing a guy, there was there was a stag dude. The stag was dressed as a banana. And ever all the stags were dressed as monkeys, and they were just chasing them around the stands all day. And it was amazing. But is that do they do they do that because they're trying to make the whole experience more interesting? <laughs> Possibly. It's a long you know day, I mean? isn't it? It's a long day, a long and you need day. to do something yeah. to distract yourself yeah. and distract everybody else. So, in a way, it's a bit like a free show, isn't it? When they you've got, I mean, if you think about it, right, you've got to have stuff like that because that's the only sport where they play for five days and it ends in a draw. That's true. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You go on for five days. Sometimes not nothing. It rains. I mean, what kind of sport is it? If it starts raining, you can't play. Yeah, that's true. Do you know what I mean? So you, there's these. You've got to have things like. It's not suited to our climate in that respect, is it, really? No, not it's really. that we invented no. cricket, isn't mm. it? Maybe mm. they played in the rain in them days, Tom. Mm. They just went, we'll play. It's raining. Well, why would that stop us? We're just throwing it and batting it. Why would we stop? Mm. Now they're like, my whites might get dirty. Persil isn't as good I, I don't think that's why they stopped the game. Well. In case their whites get dirty. You never know. You never know. Other, other reasons, we... baby, there. We've talked a lot about the new owners coming in and obviously changing the culture of the club and, you mm -hmm. know, increasing the revenue through marketing and, you know, just having a better fan experience when you arrive at the new stadium. Mm. Maybe they could actually sell dinosaur outfits when Newcastle come to Bramley Moor. Mm. You could sell mm. them at inf inflated prices, if you pardon um, the yeah, pun. Yeah, yeah I like and, it. And you yeah. could, you know, you could have all, any other hate figures we have against other teams. Mm. You know, mm. if we've got a player that used to play for them, we'll sell Judas T-shirts or... I don't know. There's something mm. that's worth, it's worth a Zoom in it with the club. I'll tell yeah. you what, Zoom, get on to Fanatics mm. there. They're, they're missing a you. trick. Uh, as far as the game, I mean, obviously, I don't know what Tarkovsky was doing for the penalty. But I do. Well, as, well as, ragging down yeah, a player. Yeah, I mean, what I mean mm. is what, like, what mm. was his, what was in his mind. It's the fact it, that he seems to think that he wouldn't, he wouldn't get seen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was one of the most blatant penalties <laughs> ever. You yeah. know, and I think what on earth was he thinking of, thinking that this is going to go undetected? Because yeah, a lot of the time, those situations, the players go and say he's going towards goal, the defender's mm. also going towards goal, and he nudges him or he pulls him down in the direction that the player's going. Mm. But he pulled him like about three different directions and then onto the ground. Yeah, it was it was utterly ridiculous. The worst thing was, I'm pretty sure Stake came up on the advertising boards when he threw him over as well. So you know, you don't want you don't want a fellow who's been. Uh, well, that be gamble away. That's what I'm saying. Be gamble away. It's turn out. It's turn out. He's going flying. Mm -hmm. it, you know, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not the best look in the world no, for that. I just, for any I, either of them. I just didn't understand what Tarkovsky was doing. It was just. It was like I never. I'll be honest, right? I didn't see it at the mm -hmm. time because I'm. Watching, no, I didn't. And I'm thinking mm -hmm. we click because it was a little bit of a melee, and then it went out, didn't it? And like sound, and then you let that. Checking and I yeah. looked along me and Andy, my mate, where he sits the screens are in front and he just turned arm into penalty. I um, so he knew. it was like when I was, it was like when you get two players tussling with each other mm. and both of them are at it and one of them yeah. just in the end just goes get off me yeah and you can yeah. see that but yeah. the, no, the poor lad was just like a like ah, like People a rag trying to make mm. it run money and yeah. I, I just didn't mm. it was ridiculous yeah. and it was a hundred percent a penalty. Um, but Tarkowski's done that that tackle against Crystal Palace the other week, yeah, and well, he just went flying in. Yeah. And it, it's he, he seems to that this season he seems to be like you know that like if you go for a drink with your mates and there's one lad who's like, don't let him have more than two drinks because he's gonna start fighting. <laughs> yes, yeah. he seems to, and he wasn't like that like the last couple of seasons, but he just wow. he's a bit of a loose cannon at the moment. Mm. I don't know whether it's playing the, with play him. I think it's I actually think it's the injury. I think he's. He's not fully fit, I don't think. And I think he's... And he puts him in a rage. I just think he's playing on the edge. He's like a dog. You know, like a dog, if it's got pain, it'll, mm. it might, like, snap at you. You know, no, he's it irritable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, like Baz. Me today. It... What do you mean today? Well, yeah. But when you're in it, well, yeah. But there is reasons. There is um, reasons. Can someone tell me the date Sean Dyche became Everton manager? You know when you... Baz is irritable. When you... to that. When you're irritable, you don't need as much. And that, to me, I think he's been struggling because he knows he's not fully mm. fit and he's making rash decisions. Like the one against Palace. I know people try to, people have tried to sort of tell me that he got the ball so it can't be a penalty yeah, the rules the have changed it was like me yeah um but that to me there's, there's it's no one i don't think anyone in the world because i was thinking 
because someone said he's dragged him in a box and I was like well if that's the case we're getting eight penalties a game then because it happens all the time mm. when you see it no sorry it's a hundred percent penalty I mean all it was over. one that is one that didn't require any VAR no. input no <laughs> no whatsoever no and lines oddly, it, no decisions uh, yeah. no screen and oddly the and oddly referee did, did take and a bit of time. A lot of time yeah. Yeah. and oddly you're sitting there going Oh, this is a weird one. Because it kept yeah. on, it come up on my phone straight away. People mm. were going, that's a pen. What are you doing, dickhead? Mm. Mm. Like, you know, straight away. So I don't understand why it took them that long to no. give. Weird. It's, it was Doesn't that speak sense. to the the inconsistency of refereeing, though, where even that, which is, even as Everton fans, we go, that's a stonewall pen. Mm. Mm. They're still checking it and you're going, well, yeah. who knows what decision yeah, will come yeah. back. But mm. it was definitely a pen all and day then, long. And, and yet, there was one in the second half, which oddly wasn't given. Mm. Well, the second one, Everton's one in the second half. I mean, we've just been listening before we started recording to Stephen Warner, who's just listened to the uh, listen to the referees, Dermot Gallagher, the skeleton, his take on it, and Warner basically just laughed in his face yeah. at the the class. See, this is the problem with referees, right? Apart from most of them aren't very good. The problem with them is. They've never played football, no. so mm. they can only see something written down and go, well, it's over. Where the thing with Calvert-Lewin, why it is a penalty for me, and this is the same reason why the, the penalty against Brighton was a penalty and we got that mm. overturned, is Dominic Calvert-Lewin's eyes are on the ball. Mm. So if I have a shot and it rebounds and comes back, or the keeper makes the save like Pope did and it was a good save, it's coming back. My eyes are on a ball that's mm. coming towards me, so I draw my leg back to try and shoot again. If the defender just throws himself, mm. doesn't get the ball, just throws himself, and my foot connects with him, he's impeding me. He's stopping yeah. my motion of mm. going through mm. to strike the ball. I don't, I don't, it's not like Calvert Lewin looks behind and goes, Oh, here's Dunk, I'll put me leg, or here's, yeah. uh, as it was the other day, Dan Byrne, because these are the two incidents with Dom this season. That, to me, I don't know how any... And this is, I guess, what Stephen Warnock was saying. Mm. You've played the game. Yeah. I, no one in the right mind doesn't think that's a penalty. No one wants a dunk bin. No. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about Jamie Carragher. You know, he texted me on Saturday night and was like, what did I say? It's a penalty. A penalty. Mm. And he went, no, because I'm saying it's a, penalty. it's a penalty. So there you go. He's, he's yeah. just obviously had an Everton. What did Dermot Gallagher have to say then? What was his take on he it? He said it wasn't a penalty because... Because of Bain the fact has that been Dom's... clever and put himself in the way, he put his leg in between uh, Calvert Lewin and the ball, and then he mm. was ref re then they referenced another one where Anthony Gordon got a penalty last year against West Ham, and he went, "Yeah, but in that one, Anthony Gordon put his leg between the ball and has has kicked into uh, the player. I think it was Calvin Phillips, and the host has gone. Well, it's the same thing, then, isn't it? And he's like, mm. "Well, no," and he. They were like, but it is. And Damon Gallagher couldn't get his head round what they were trying to say. But what they were trying to say was the, the situation has been manipulated by mm. the Newcastle player so that the other player either kicks, so the other player kicks him or he kicks them. And it's like, mm. it's a penalty. It, mm. We've gone down this strange route in football recently of like, just because something's happened once, then every single time then it happens, it has to be that same thing. Anyone who's at the ground, anyone who's played football, anyone who's watched football knows that's a penalty because the striker's about to kick the ball and something stops him from kicking that ball. Therefore, if Dan Barn was... Dan Barn was Dan going... Bar. Dan Barn. Dan Barn. I said this the other day. I was like, the fella who wrote the Da Vinci Code, if he'd stopped Dominic Carvalhoon, he'd been in the wrong place. If he if he gets in the way of Dominic Carvalhoon kicking the ball and he isn't trying to get the ball himself, mm. then it has to be a foul. Mm. It just mm. has to be. That's how football works. This idea of... It, a, a foul has to be intentional. No, That's if it's an nonsense. intentional, it's a That's yellow a card. Thing, yeah. That's a different thing. Mm. But if I fall over... And that means that you fall over and you're running through on mm. goal. You're gone. You're, I'm still getting sent yeah, off. Yeah. I didn't mean to mm. fall over, no. but I, mm. it just happened. They, they, they just complicate everything. It's not that difficult. He stopped him from shooting. Therefore, it's a penalty. Do you know if I run across you as the striker and you're the last defender? And as I'm running, my heel kicks yeah. your thigh yeah. and I go down. You still get sent off. But, in, mm. but you're running. You haven't tried to kick me. I've kicked your leg. Yeah. So are they now saying that I'd have initiated the contact? So yeah, yeah. So it well, no, that's, be a foul. That, that's the way. So I mean, it's just I mean, what did you two think of it? Because obviously you both seen it. 
I, I thought it was a penalty as well, to be honest with you. And then obviously there was all the replays and they were justifying the fact that it was because, as you say, because Dom had kicked Dan Byrne. <laughs> and then that was the reason why, you know, as if, as I say, Dom had, had initiated it. But no, for all the reasons you just described, I thought it was a penalty. And I thought, you know, was surprised when it wasn't. But they all seemed to be in agreement with it. Well, that was the incredible thing. The incredible thing was that actually the referee didn't give it. Because, like, mm. VAR wouldn't have overturned it if no. he had given mm. it. That's the mad thing. He doesn't give so it. So the fact that he didn't give it, I mean, a Dishagana gay should put the ball in the back of the net. That's a given. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. but it's just crazy that we're in this situation. Then VAR probably would have over said it was a free kick because Calvaloon <laughs> kicked Dan Byrne. It's just, it's just <laughs> mad the way the state we've got ourselves in in the game. Mm. It's just, it's a stonewall penalty. The one oh, is Brighton was as well. Hundred percent. I think there's. I thought it was a penalty, to, totally. Mm -hmm. And then there was, but there's just that one angle where it looks like, and it's just because the way Dom's shaping, because the way the ball's rolling, mm -hmm. he sort of, he looks like he's doing a little of a bit of a Mary Poppins, like kick mm -hmm. to the side. But that's just because he's trying to kick the ball, and mm -hmm. the defender's in his way. That miss from Garner, that was. I mean, that was like a double whammy. It's like, ah, yeah. how how he he's leaning back so much mm -hmm. when he connects with the ball. Which is like you know one oh one, isn't it? Get your head over it. Um, but yeah, it's just that that thing you talk about, Ped, where it's almost like in in the courts of law when they have legal precedent and they have yeah. Well, this happened in nineteen eighty three in Minnesota, so therefore <laughs> Dom's dived. It's like yeah. well, no, because that thing in Minnesota was wrong as well. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that everything else has to follow that. I was watching. The, I mean, with some of bad games, I watch. I don't generally watch ninety minutes of football, but I thought, yes, I was thought, oh, the Villa Man United game might be. A, oh my god, mm. it was worse than ours. That was awful. It, was, mm. it was ten times worse because I didn't have a vested interest in it. Yeah. It was horrendous. <laughs> I was literally watching it just because I'd watched it for so long. I needed someone to score. Yeah. I was mm. like, if I walk out the room now and someone scores, I've wasted. It's the. It's called the Delhi principle. You put so much time and effort into it <laughs> that you just keep going back and. And hoping that it'll it'll produce at the end of the day for you. Um and Marcus Rashford booted one of their players while on a yellow card. The ref mm. goes over to him, just has a little chat to him, and it's like, it's a yellow card, he should be sent off. And then you hear the commentators going, Well, is there a higher threshold because he's already yeah. yellow? Yes, there Jamie, Jamie Carragher. Mm. Yeah, there is a high No, there's not. Who decided that? You decided that. Mm. You decided, or the referees got it into the red. There should be a higher threshold because nobody wants to send I, off see, a player. I don't mind there being a higher threshold for the second. I don't mind that. But my issue is, like anything, right? That won't be applied no, it's next not a, week. But it's not a rule. That's the problem. No, but it won't be. No, but we all say. Come on, ref, not everything's a booking, right? This, I haven't seen it. This so was I'm a talking, booking. I'm talking without seeing this, by the way. I'm just saying. I don't mind that. My issue comes with where's the consistency? That, like the Dominic calvert yeah. one on Saturday, that will be given at other times mm, this season mm, to someone mm, else. Well, they've been pretty mm. consistent on Dominic calvert getting Virgil penalties Virgil Van Dijk. Gladys Street. Virgil van Dijk on Saturday. On mm. Gay, that's a penalty. Drags his arm. Yeah. Oh, well, the player's fallen down because he let he's no, what he said was he's clever because mm. he lets go of it at the end at the right time. Well, it's yeah, no, it's he's dragging your, it's stopping it's the, the motion. It's the you're entitled to go down mm. syndrome, isn't it? Mm. Someone's mm. decided that that's all right, so everyone just follows suit mm. it's and it's not, bollocks. They have lost mm. control, they've lost control mm. of it, haven't they? But I suppose at the end of the day, from an Everton perspective, they didn't lose the game. Mm. Um, Valuable lose. point that very little evidence we tried to win it. Newcastle mm. for me were by far the better side. Much better and team. if they'd have had Isaac or Wilson, yeah, they'd, 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 have they'd have won it. They'd have won it, they'd but they didn't. Won it. So before the kickoff, though, if you would have said to me one point from that, a draw, mm. nil nil, without mm. Branthwaite, without Michalenko, I know you'd have taken it. One of our yeah, best players, but you know, it's another one of the back four gone against Newcastle who could have gone into the fourth place, I think, if they'd beaten us. Mm. Well, that's the so, other side of it, isn't it? It is strange that we get our first clean sheet whilst having to make, you know, massive change. I thought Garner was excellent at right back. Yeah. I thought mm. Ashley Young once again was very consistent at left back. Michael Keane had his best game. And as we've just said, if anyone actually let us down in that back four, it was it was Tarkowski, which is mm. which is well, was so strange. Ironically, the highest scoring Everton yeah. player across every metric on Saturday, James Tarkowski. Yeah, I know, but he was. was he? But, he, oh, but just, on yeah, the ice test was. I know because I'd done the I'd done the thing for. It's a different story. It never worked. But I'd done the thing this morning for it. Uh, went through all the stats to see who was, who performed the best, and it was Tarky by some distance, and then Gar James Garner. 
Mm. So, which it's is mad, isn't it? Yeah. It mm. is interesting because, I mean, Pickford got, I think Pickford done two of them, got man of the match, but because of the penalty mm. save, because that save and a pen takes you yeah, an extra yeah. point up, but it was Saki, yeah. Mm. It's, I thought he had, I personally thought he was Evans' best defender on Saturday after Ghana, but that shows you. Oof. Tahi, thought he, his, and his numbers. I, thought, I just thought he won was, all of his duels. Clear, no, no, five I, just, out of five I just thought he wasn't. I thought, like we said, I just seat. didn't think his head was was mm. was but quite then he, on he, it. He did concede the moment that could have mm. lost us the exactly, game through yeah. total stupidity. Mm. Exactly. So, yeah. There we go. We didn't lose. No, and we've no, got a couple of no, weeks no. now, haven't we, to just try and get people. Although, it doesn't sound like it's touch and go on a Philip switch with bland weight and stuff, but. Mm. At least these injuries have come, lads, at a time when the international breaks on. So could get, yeah. you know, if that helps because if they've been one of those weeks mm. where you've got three games in a week and all that, it have been damaging. But if you're going to pick up a couple of injuries now, I guess it's the best time, time. to do it. Yeah, I used to hate these international breaks, you know, and the last like three, <laughs> four years, honestly, they're like little Christmases, aren't they? Whether it's just needing to sack the manager and get a new one in, yeah, or whether mm. it's I don't know players coming back from injury or just having a little break. Do you think, think little mini least, retirements, Sam? A little, that's it, what's a pre-retirement? Mm, but the, mm. uh, Three games unbeaten now. Yeah. Mm. So frame it like that, and it's a nice time to just regroup in it and come back for the Ipswich match. Mm. And it, and it, I know we've got another international break after this one, I think. Mm, one more. Um, but it, we're getting into that, like, the next section of games are huge, aren't they? They're all very mm. winnable games. Yeah. And then the section after that, suddenly you're into Christmas and when you you don't really want to look at those <laughs> no, pictures. But yeah, them. when we get into them, they always take care of themselves, obviously. Mm. So this next section uh, is just massive, isn't it? You've got to get some points on the board and give it give the, the league table a little bit more of a comfortable feel. Um, and that'll be when it all starts sorting itself out, won't it? Yeah, I mean, there's loads of ways to look at it. The stunned silence in the room is one way to Well, I it. just look up. There's a huge... Uh, listen, this is great because maybe it's just I'm miserable today, but we've won, one, we've won one game in seven and people are talking like we're, we're flying. I scratch my head, but we move on. I agree we with you, on. though, about the run of fixtures, though, because as you yeah. say, December's a horror show. So yeah, basically everything between now and the Brentford game at the end of November mm. is, you know, there's points in there, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, if I, and if we could come back and beat Ipswich, which will mm. be a... They're very difficult game. We mm. won't be bouncing them. I just want to, just something popped into my head then. Sam, when you scratch your head, you have to be vet a little bit more careful now. Because <laughs> mm. um, you're close to I suppose I've is had it... a couple of occasions where I've, like, my wedding ring, and I was I was putting moisturiser on my head because I have yeah. to moisturise my head now. This is the, mm. the it kind looks of good, though. It does Thank look you. good. Mm. There's looks no well lights on in this room. I've just got the light from the screen and it just illuminates the whole room. Mm. It's beautiful. Mm. But uh, me, me sort of wedding ring just scratched my head a little bit and I looked like I'd been, yeah, looked like Tarkowski had dragged me down in a penalty box for no mm. apparent reason. So I, I do take care, but I take care with most things. Mm. Fair play you know. to you. As that, I said last week, yeah. if you, 20 years earlier, you definitely would have been in Phoenix Knight. But now <laughs> I'm thinking, now I'm thinking you could be a Northern Bond villain. Well, that'd be good. Mm. Yeah. Thinking well, that. you know. You've got I mean, Sam at hotmail.com if anyone wants to offer me a film role. You've got the look, look of a man who owns his own volcano. Yeah. <laughs> That's my nickname for it. <laughs> I was going to ask you how you are with low beams in pubs and stuff like that, Sam, because obviously I feel like I know you, but we've never actually met in real life. Mm. So I have no real concept of how tall you are. Are you a tall man or are you someone who's not phased by low hanging wooden beams? <laughs> I, I am. I am slightly phased. I am six foot two. I used to be six foot three. Are you really six two? Are you six foot two? Are you? Foot I'm, like, two, like, yeah. I'm like not even taking the piss. I, yeah. I know. I mean, because so, so you're a classic example. And I've had <laughs> this before, you know, since lockdown where you, I was going to say you have a relationship with people online, which sounds weird, but you know what I mean? Where you actually sort of interact with a lot of people in a Zoom or <laughs> online forum kind of way like we are. Yeah. And then you, when you do sort of meet them after a year or 18 months of sort of being colleagues. And then you kind of go, oh, God, you're way taller than I thought. Yeah. Now you would, and, and take this the right way, it's not an intended to, but you would really surprise me if you were, what, if you were 6'2". I mean, I believe you that you are. <laughs> you're not lying, no, Dave. No, so that's the thing. So when we when we do eventually meet, you know, and, mm. and, I, and I hope I hope it is one day, Sam, yeah. you know, yeah. is that you low beam will... Yeah, you will be a surprise to me. Yeah, yeah. and me, Sam, because uh, well, you, you have been in the two. studio, yeah. but I wasn't here when you come no. in. 
To be um, fair, Sam, that's oh, just stand, like a... Sam, stand up. You just like walk back a bit. Yeah, yeah, stand come up. Come on, Sam. I don't know whether this is great. I've got no pants on. That's the problem. This is great for if you're listening. If you're listening, this is great. I mean... Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be yeah. fair, he's got to go back a bit, Dave. For he's in that job. to get perspective, That's though, isn't true. it? Because yeah. you don't really know how high that sofa is. Or yeah. Yeah. No, it is. Sam, and it could be a low being room, Dave. Yeah. For all yeah, you know. it could be. Sam, to it be fair, mate, said, you're, just, uh, you're just the size of, a, of an average normal human man, aren't it's not you? Not real, low, is it? Uh, not you know real. what I mean? That's not normal human men are six foot two. It's not real. That's what we all know. That's not real. Well, I mean, I'm just under that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I mean, in fairness, I don't mind holding it. I'm just under six foot. It's yeah. you're just under the same maybe. way that you're yeah, just yeah. under yeah. 51. <laughs> like me, me and Baz, we're just yeah, under, we're the... just under it. Ned's, yeah. Ned's substantially under. Ned come in here once and told me he was five foot nine. <laughs> <laughs> five foot nine mm. in his mum's stiletto. Yeah, yeah. 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 mm. We've all like we've all encountered that when you've only met someone on a a Teams call or a Zoom call or something mm. like this, and mm. then you meet them. And the only comments I've had personally is, "Oh, you're taller than I thought you'd be," mm. which is we. I, I find interesting because I don't want to say to them, "Oh, you've got legs." I yeah. never knew. Uh, but yeah, has anyone ever said, "Oh, you're shorter than I thought you'd be"? Because that... no, people people don't say that, even no, though they're probably no. thinking it when they, they might be. be. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they don't normally. They don't normally sort of um, vocalize it. No, no. Or, no. Or say it is an easy no. word. Yeah. The taller ones, the, I, I'll tell you one, when I worked at Everton mm. in the ticket office, so we had the steward, ironically, his name was Barry. He was a big, big well, pedal say he's not a big fella, big, but he was They call him six, Big Barry. Big, big I don't Baz. know. Other people did. He wasn't Other quite in did. my circle, <laughs> but, he, but he was outside the, the ticket office window, like security, whatever. Right. Security Barry. Yeah, so we'll call, call him that, right? So he was, yeah. he was over six foot. Mm. Let's call right. him that. I mean, as most security people are. Exactly. Right. Be no good being my size. <laughs> but in a, well, you could work at a grotto. Yeah. Mm. In the park end <laughs> where I worked, that was the park end ticket office. The floor was raised. Okay. Right. Mm. So he only mm. ever seen me yeah. sort of talking <laughs> in the window, whatever. Right. So one day, serious. Like I mm. again, I've said this lots of times. Other people have an issue with my yeah, height. Yeah. I don't. I never okay. have, and I never will. So why like, have you had your floors done at home then? I've had all my floors high. Yeah. yeah. So when I'm in the window, I'm <laughs> talking, yeah. right. So I come out the gate one day, and is this at home again? No, this no, is not, sorry. not the gate of community. No, I came out the park and gate. We were going for lunch, and he was there, and his face. He done about four what takes. Was he like, how far away is he? He's done about four <laughs> takes. Is he like, my eyes are failing. Is he miles away? Mm. He was like, I, and he did say, oh my God, I thought you were much bigger than you are. Mm. <laughs> I was like, I've been nah, calling you Big Barry. Big Baz, he was. Go and see mm. Big Baz in the ticket office. <laughs> they, they, they thought it was for other reasons, oh. yeah. He was genuine, <laughs> yeah. genuinely shocked when he saw that I wasn't six foot. Just going back just to, under it. Well, just going back to what Sam said about no, or Dave, sorry, when you meet people that you had, had a Zoom call with. It's funny, not many people want to meet me after they've had a Zoom call with me. <laughs> so I don't know what you that, spend most of it on your phone about. or looking at your feet. I don't know that's what that's why. about. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? The age of Zoom. I'm not looking at my feet, I'm looking at you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, again, you seem to have an issue with the height thing. Me and Ned, well, Ned does clearly because he always tries to talk himself up and the stackies that he gets. Yeah. Ned, do you reckon Ned's going to go into his new job with those inner, you've seen them inner soldiers, you can get now that yeah. they're an inch, aren't they, or something mm. you put in and it makes you an inch taller. He's, Cuban heels, this fella. Oh, yeah, let me look what he's got on here. He's gone to Tom Cruise, like Cuban yeah, heels Tom built in. To boots. Cuban heels. People normally say I'm not as weird in person, which is a nice thing. Really? That's good. That's <laughs> good because that shows you've yeah, got a measure of control Thanks. that you don't have once the once yeah. your barriers come down, they stay down, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Fair. With Ned. Mm. Mm. No, like the way football's all VAR. Yeah. Everything's VAR in it now. Like we were at a game strategy, two big moments, mm. VAR mm. and all that. Imagine if VAR was used in your life, though, because I saw this again the other day and I was like, Being sure, genial. we've had this conversation, but just imagine if you could bring VAR in. Mm, I'd love that. Moments. Like, you know, I mean, just... I could have used it to actually sort of contest some of my divorces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of my divorces. So, no. all, not all of them. Sometimes, you know, some of them. Some of them you know, were Tarkovsky moments, weren't they? With Dave. Clear. My, no. 
it like, might have been they? an opportunity to... I, well, I don't know. I'm just, you know, mm. these are obviously big decisions in the same mm. way that the penalty was a big decision on yeah. Saturday. Yeah. You know, maybe it would be, you know, with the hindsight of technology to actually yeah. have a look back at these decisions and work out whether, you know, who was, who was at fault here. Whether the line's the, drawn the, the, the line properly. The problem with, with this conversation is, Dave, and again, mm. going back to what we're talking about... What, that I, I shouldn't be th- having it? No, no. <laughs> no? I, no, no. Well, partly. Right. I just don't think mm. us three can get into it. We don't know you well enough to start sure. making jokes about your divorces. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not quite yeah. at that level. Mm. Hopefully one go. day we will be at I that level we where we can jump in <laughs> yeah, and go, I mean, ah, yeah, but I might... Blah, blah, blah. We're just... <laughs> Well, none of us are quite there. So no, like, I, I think I think I know what Dave's talking about though, because I think even without a divorce, I think mm. it'd be really useful in a domestic argument yeah. situation. Oh, yeah. If you say yeah. I never said that, and you say, "Well, I said that," and then mm. although my wife does this thing, well, you said, oh, yeah, yeah. "It's like, well, I don't talk like that," and then we start arguing. I was going to say, the tape, yeah. and then yeah. I go, "Oh no, I was talking like that actually," and I was talking bollocks. So it would be good right to, to get a different perspective, you know, mm. like an independent panel. Yeah. To actually look at it and sort of go, actually, in on balance, <laughs> Sam, I think that you were you were in the right there. And actually mm, you know, she was she was a bit like Tarkovsky. She was a bit hasty and rash mm. in her decision making. Mm. And actually, metaphorically, threw threw you to the floor. Yeah. I have more, I, more, I, it feels I was well like within a, right to like, go down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels more like oh, a PSR where? hearing <laughs> right. rather than like a, it feels like um feels more like you've been found guilty. There he is. You've been found guilty. Yeah. And now we're gonna go to an independent committee to see what your punishment is. Mm. Um, well, you could use it. I wonder if you'd use it like the way the tennis do. So you don't really like, you know, the way in tennis where you get like a couple of challenges. Oh, no, yeah. You want to use, because we've all done that, haven't we? Been, like Dave's wa- ex wives. Dave's wives have got a couple <laughs> of challenges going on. But you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got because we've all done it haven't we we've all said i never said that and, yeah. and they're adamant you have mm. and mm. I, you know and they give you i don't know i mean they give you that look i don't know whether sam does this with you but mm. you sometimes get that look where you're thinking i don't think i want this to go to var yeah. because <laughs> the way she's looking at me mm. i know that by the look you think yeah I probably mm. did do exactly what you've said. Mm. Even you want to take don't... the card and just move on. Yeah, I'd you? just rather give mm. me the book and all. Yeah, or yeah. Because yeah. I don't look yeah. into it. I don't, if you go, mm. if you scratch beneath the surface, mm. it'll piss you off even more. Then I'm in even more yeah, trouble. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I'll I mean? I'll take what I'm given. And mm. we move on. Yeah, what, yeah. What, like, I, no challenge. Just apologise and say, happy wife, happy life. That's just yeah. Me. Yeah, Eat. that is a good what they say. But what else would you use it in now? <laughs> yeah, but there you go, Dave. Dave's learned that now. Dave's learned. I'll use that. I'll use for my next marriage. I'll use for that one. For my next one, I'm, I'm going to remember that one, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Get it on the screen, I mean, I mean, I mean, arguably, if I'd, if I'd known that 25 years ago, things would have been very different. But Possibly. Hey, uh, Do you think you've changed, Dave? Do you, you got married when you were 10. I know. Yeah. That was the pro- that's his first issue. Yeah. And then the I first was, I was issue. Young and immature. Young. But Dave, you know when you look back, without mm. being too melancholy and all that, when you look mm. back. Melancholy. Melancholy. Yeah. Weren't we after him from Leon we, in we the summer? We were trying to get him, but we wouldn't, he's a fast right winger and we wouldn't pay him. Um, mm. When you look back, do you, do you look back and think, yeah, I, I probably did play me part in, in these. Or. Are you sort of going, no, I want the VAR. I want the VAR. Frida, um, Frida. Well, this, is, is, a, this, is, this is now becoming more serious a conversation, isn't it? It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, maybe we well, should I, move Listen, on. listen, listen. I suppose that what I'm trying to say is that actually away from the lulls of VAR and <laughs> yeah. war situations that I think myself, <laughs> like everybody, is probably partly responsible for their own downfall. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So in that respect, I'm going to put my hands up and okay. say, yes, you know, you know, none of us are perfect. <laughs> All right, so, well, yeah, perhaps, then. But even yeah. even from that perspective, that's a great mm. way of growing as an individual, isn't it? To look at Thanks. yourself in a situation, mm. and th- not just you, Dave, I'm not aiming this at you, just <laughs> as a collective, as a human experience, mm. to look at certainly my own like performances in arguments where I've said some quite hurtful things that perhaps mm. didn't make sense or weren't necessary. I like the fact that you use the word performances. As performance, well. yeah. performances <laughs> yeah. 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 To look back and go, actually, I could have done that a little bit better, or perhaps I shouldn't mm. have said that, or perhaps I shouldn't have, you know, Throwing that cup of tea what, on the floor. What about <laughs> this for a con? Yeah. What about this for a concept, right? Because I've mm. Ned's now lost me altogether. Right? There is no camera on me, so you're just hearing, right? Now, now there's two pet. That was good. There's two pet. Talking. You look taller now, right? Baz, I look honest. bigger now, don't I? I look just yeah. under six mm. foot now. Um, <laughs> what about this for a concept? Imagine, right? This has just come to me. Imagine 
at the end of every night, right, when you lay down in bed, you can, you've got like highlights of the day rerun to you, right? So yeah. if you've had like a, a moment, if you've had like I an argument, carry the best bits Tuesday. <laughs> not, not, not necessarily the best bits, but say there's been a significant event no. in the day. Imagine if you got to see your performance mm -hmm. almost rerun. So the, if you did have an argument or yeah. whatever, that played mm. back to you. Mm. Imagine isn't that just that insomnia? Come... That's what insomnia is, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Just Maybe. It's just saying. anxiety, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, but you, <laughs> literally you got anxiety. No, because what I mean is you get in, a, in an emotional event, you see things quite clearly through your... Mm. Through just your eyes, don't you? Right. It depends who's in charge of the edit, because the edit makes <laughs> yeah. the the, the emotion. It, it? Yeah. So what what True, music yeah. is used? The type of kind of edit and put together, whether, whether there's like a soft glow on the on the memories, mm. or whether it's mm. like you know uh, jagged and black and white, and you know very cut together. That that could really influence it. Well, what else then? If if VAR could be brought into your everyday, like not not personal relationship, just anything else. Mm. Where what would you like? Where would you like to see a VAR used in the workspace? Driving. Space? Driving. 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 Yeah. Driving. Well, isn't that, yeah. what, isn't that effectively what a dash cam is? <laughs> I suppose, yeah. <laughs> so we've already hmm. got the technology. We're just not well, using we, it. Well we, well, we sort of have, haven't we? Because I, hmm? I, I heard something a few weeks ago whereby people can end up getting fines, traffic hmm. fines and speeding tickets and stuff based upon the evidence of someone else's dash cam. Really? Yeah. Mm. Oh. That's what I heard. I, I don't know whether that's well, that could probably true, or not, true but that's like, what I that... heard. Whereby, you know, if you, I, I don't know, Sam, supposing I'm driving along with the dash cam and you go hurtling past me at whatever, 70 miles an hour in a 30 zone, mm -hmm. my dash cam footage would be enough to have you prosecuted, I grass. believe. What a grass. I know. Mm. Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you, you've got to see, that's the thing. You've got to, you've got to question the mentality of the people that then put that evidence forward, yeah. haven't mm -hmm. you? Yeah. Why are they God doing knows that? what your ring doorbell could do to you then. Mm. That's caused lots of problems mm. with ring doorbell, though, hasn't it? Has he? Yeah. Enlighten me. I've noticed a lot of this, uh, things where, well, in some respects, really good stuff, like where people have robbed stuff off step, you know, like when Amazon, uh, like Amazon will deliver a parcel. Mm. Like when did they, uh, this might be forever, right? I don't know, but when did they just start leaving the parcel? just in the middle of the door. Because I went past then on, we'd taken the dog for a walk for the game on Saturday, for I was leaving for the match, dog minding again this mm -hmm. week. And um, went past a house where the parcel was just in the middle of yeah. the door. Like, there's, I, mm -hmm. I, I didn't clock whether they had a ring doorbell or whatever, <laughs> but you're just like, you haven't even tried to put it in a safe space. You haven't even tried to disguise it. You've just gone. I don't know what would they disguise it with a little beard? No, you don't have to put a false <laughs> no, but mustache they hide, it behind, on. they hide it behind a bin or your yeah, car. Yeah, you know, yeah. in a like bin that. or. I, I think like probably when Amazon decided to put really, really stupid time things on people's days, I imagine. If you're walking up a path, it isn't that much of a stress to just lash it behind the bin on your way back down the path. I don't though, know. Surely. I'm not, I've never been. I was on a plane to Belfast. Him. I was yeah. on a plane to Belfast. And there was Saturday. an Amazon delivery. There was an Amazon around. delivery that came through the window and just yeah, flew just across. And we didn't know did what was going else's, on. Did um, accent on it when it spoke? That's <laughs> own footage. That'd be on, Sam, So this woman I was sat next to, she was from Belfast but lived in Liverpool, was going home for the weekend. And on her ring doorbell just before we, we took off, so she still had her phone on, a, a brand new TV she'd ordered has arrived and they just left it on the doorstep in, in her house and she was going to, going home for the weekend. <laughs> and she was Do you just think like, that's bad timing on her behalf, though? Who orders Maybe. a new telly knowing it could come on the day when you're going not. to yeah, belt? That's all that. But it sort of begs the question of whether there's a sort of value threshold in terms of what can and can't be left mm. there. So in other words, you know what I mean? Like if you just yeah. ordered something which was, I don't know, a new bloody dish mop or something like that, or, mm. you know, a set of pan scrubbers, if that stays outside the door, then it doesn't really matter. But if you yeah. just ordered like a PS11 or a, <laughs> I don't play games or whatever, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, like if yeah. you've just ordered one of them or you've ordered a new kind of, you know, telly like, like that yeah. woman had, then that should never be... Just Don't we need signatures? Sure. We have to. You'd have to have a signature. We have to sign for a new shower that got delivered last week. The fella, even though we had the email, you had to still sign for it. Mm. It's like, yeah, you know okay. when they say, "Can I take a picture?" Do you ever like just instinctively pose. smile? Yeah, it's like like you're mm. in the picture. Yeah, or like mm. pose. Or turn around and moon at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's for being late. Uh, yeah, you. I, I just hear next doors ring door ring doorbell going off all the time. Just going. Can you give number eighteen a knock, please, and then take it. 
basically that's what they use their ring doorbell just to tell deliveries I have a so can they knock like, on ours I'm, I am not good with ring doorbell simply because I've never had one I've never used one I don't know okay. the capabilities mm. you can talk to the door or yeah. is it a recorded message no you, it's live You when they ring and you're not in it comes up on your phone oh, okay. you and can you're use watching something. that person like somebody. so you could watch your doorbell at any time the camera well and, that does and then you would just say to the person can you just deli- sorry I can't come to the door right now oh okay you know uh, can you just knock next door and yeah, give it yeah. to them oh, if okay. you want. That's the beauty of a ring doorbell. Right, okay. All right. See, you can, lying on the see, beach I know you in don't need a ring doorbell because you've got a, a ring of security mm. around where you, you live. You've got concierge to do yeah. that. Yeah. Really. That's, a, that's it. It just gets delivered you, to the hut. It just gets the hut, yeah. Mm, the hut yeah. gets it, yeah. Mm. Mm. The hut group. The mm. THC, <laughs> just drop it off you. Just... <laughs> no, it is, I know that because Ned will go, oh, someone's just come up my path. So to speak. Euphemism? That's just that's just a WhatsApp message. <laughs> now we'll say when he's in here, and I'm like, what are you on about? And then he's no saying, wonder Bush about. left. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm. Do you know what? The more the more that this goes on, the more I think that his his decision was justified. Yeah. It's <laughs> Come on, then, Dave. What have you got to bring to the party? <laughs> oh God, you're so <laughs> easy to win. These you? special Ten... effects, man. Oh, I was going to listen. Listen, I, I mean, and Pet, you were 100 percent right about him being easily irritable, right? <laughs> and like, did you see the way that that reacted? <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like a VAR decision went against Absolutely. me. Absolutely. There. Uh, yeah, I am. Anyway, in still... answer to your question, I bring nothing to the table, Barry. No, no, I meant today. I meant today. Oh, yeah, well, 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 today, tomorrow, next week, whatever, no. really. Don't, if you're don't be down canceled. on yourself, Dave. If you're having cancelled by that. Um, and quoted work. Yeah. Oh, listen, it's, it, it, I'm just, I'm still fuming from kids. Couldn't get a signal, he was in Shrewsbury. Shrew- well, I mean, <laughs> we've all been to Shrewsbury. We have all been to Shrewsbury. It's a and, wonderful and place. Signal place. Because it's, it's, it's quite hilly, you see. If you're the bottom of the hill, you get nothing. Milf Central. Wasn't it? Is McDonald's. It? Is it? McDonald's at <laughs> Shrewsbury Boss when we went. It, oh, right. it, it, I mean, I did, didn't think you were going to bring that up. Oh, you've got it. But we yeah. did go to McDonald's in Shrewsbury and it did seem it did seem to be the time maybe the school run was on or just yeah. before. Just finished, though, just be, yeah. It seemed like yoga had just happened, then McDonald's and mm. then probably onto the school run. Mm, and did you drive all the way from Liverpool to Shrewsbury <laughs> just for that reason? <laughs> No, no, it, but there, it, was, it, was very on, on like, it was very much like buying a DVD in the early 2000s where you bought it for the film and then you got all those added extras. Oh, the bonus and material. And you, you were happy with the bonus mm. content. It yeah, just right. was bonus content. Mm. So um, are you trying to say that, so in addition to getting your burger, which was the intended reason for your <laughs> driving there, you also got the yoga milfs as an added bonus. A bit like a kind of, you know, human McFlurry. Well, well, basically, we go to Shrewsbury no. for McDonald's. We went, we went to Shrewsbury to cover their safe standing, mm. which which is in uh, effect okay. at their stadium. So we've mm. done a piece on the safe mm. standing in the ground with the mm. CEO Proud and Meadow. stuff at uh, there. And then we came out and went to McDonald's <laughs> to to get some food. Um, or you know, <laughs> and there was no yeah, free Wi-Fi. There was and free Wi-Fi to upload some stuff, and there was added bonuses in there. That's what we're saying. The McDonald's you know, was was on the bonus material. In all fairness, because yeah. that wasn't a pre-arranged thing, was it? Can I ask you three if you remember that, like in the sort of late nineties when I was a teenager, like I, I was like eighteen, nineteen, and mm. just when you said Mill Central, it made me think of this. One of my mates said. We should go to Nottingham. And I said, yeah. why? And he said, well, in yeah. Nottingham, there's eight women for every man. <laughs> this is like, true. Well, let's, <laughs> when are we going? Us. Let's go to <laughs> Nottingham. But then it transpired. And I don't know if this is true, but someone told us the reason there's eight women to every man is mm. that loads of the fellas got killed in the Second World War. And actually, all these women were then in their 80s. Now, <laughs> so then we didn't bother. We just went to town because we thought that's not what we're into. I heard a different story. Mm. I, heard, I heard it was to do with the lace industry. Right. Oh. And the lace industry, I think, is son- son- I can't even say it, synonymous with Nottingham. It's a mouthful. That's and I think that, that therefore there were more women required to work in the lace uh, industry work. Ah. And that was what tipped the balance in terms see, of the ma- male female ratio. I believe but that might be completely wrong, see, but that's my version. I, I thought the start of a share with Forrest. I, th- yes, but... I, I, I don't know. I Do you want me to I, Google I, it now? Well, I got told. Yeah. I remember being told it was because the the there was certain courses there at the uni, which meant more women went to the oh, uni, right. so therefore uh, there was more women. This, you know what this feels like? Isn't this love actually when he gets off to America and he goes to yeah. that place? Yeah. There's eight women to every man or something. But also, I was just thinking. Death in paradise. Just going back to the original yeah. point, Sam. I'm just thinking. 
in the early 2000s, this definitely should have been a bar around Central Square called Mill Central. I, I think they would yeah. have done a killing. The minute to Medicine complete. Pie, come on. Mm. Yeah, but Sam was talking late night. I mean, that's commitment. Shall we go to Nottingham mm. yeah. for a night well, we very, because our very chances sad, lonely men. are quite good? So, no, but listen, hey, know. it's a strategy. Mm. Every, I mean, the Grafton was people's strategy, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Places like, well, it was, wasn't it? There was a few, wasn't it? The uh, Montrose, the Montrose in yeah. Walton, is it? Not, not yeah, quite Walton. Yeah, I remember the, the, you know, there was there was the we, coconut grove. These were strategies. Oh, they just they just places that were old. No, but there was yeah. Why? None of them were open when no, I was. Why? When no, I was why were the they Ale? strategies in the past? Because maybe people didn't go into town and mm. stayed local. And, Do you ever think about that, Baz? And, Do you ever think about that? No, but we all know that we all know the. The folklore that came with those. I'm not old enough to know yeah. the folklore. Sure. The no, it is where you, you go home with Halle Berry and you wake up next to Chuck. Oh, yeah. I'm very defensive there. Uh, you got coke. really, really defensive. No, no. Then. I've been to the Montrose because my mate was okay. the barman. Oh, in it, here. oh, Berry was. They works, have a, works in NASA now. So well, was. I mean, what a what a, what a ground. What a ground. <laughs> I think that's why I got the job in NASA. He's looking for honest. more aliens. He was. Um, and obviously the Grafton. Okay. Was, you I think know, we've gone off topic here. City and all I think, let's get back to our correspond Nottingham, Nottingham correspondence. Nottingham correspondence to finish Right, the show. okay. So anyway, while you've been talking, I've been doing some research here. Mm? And <laughs> it says that the lady myth is linked to lace, which is a good little bit of alliteration here. This is from it, the BBC. Uh, it was a while ago. This was like in 2003. But, you know, I, I suspect it still holds up now. So what mm -hmm. they say is this. Um is that the city's reputation may have its origins in the days when women worked in the lace industry. He said at the height of the lace industry in the late 1860s, it was reported that 110,000 women were employed, mainly in the mills and working from home. That would have grown slightly through the Victorian era, right? So that is perhaps, I don't know. I'm calling that as a, as a yes for mm. me. Yeah, there you go. I think. Also, by the way, great Brit pop band, Lady Myth. Really Lady are fantastic, mm. fantastic. I haven't heard of them. Yeah, fair play. It's all good then. There you go. That's all good. What is a, a lot of historical information for a bunch of eighteen-year-old lads to go. Oi, oi! Yeah. In the end, <laughs> lace. Good. Well, hey, I mean, to be fair, that's why you know it was a big thing around the late nineties when there was no internet. Because if there'd been internet, it would have just debunked the whole thing dead quick. So that's black, black lace were big then. Yeah. Right. There you go. There you go. On that note, <laughs> let's leave it there. It's another week done. Tremendous. It was, it was great. Tremendous. It's mm. that three weeks on the run we've been able to do it and Evan haven't lost. There's the mm. bonus for you. Mm. Then that'll pick mm. you up for the rest of the week. Yeah, take that, Bush. And party. Take that, mm. Bush, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, we are done. Make sure you like, subscribe. Thanks, boys. See you next week. Take it easy. Have a Thank good you. one. See you all later. Bye. Bye.